Lots to discuss here, and to do that, Politico senior Washington correspondent Anna Palmer and Time political reporter Zeke Miller, both good enough to give us a little bit of their time today. <laughs> and I want to start uh, with you. Uh, we just saw on Fox News there Trump saying that uh, the Cruz Kasich alliance proves that the system is rigged, even as he took shots at their uh, relative weakness. Uh, he's also used the word collusion, which suggests something nefarious, but. <laughs> Technically, what is wrong, if anything, with what his two rivals have done? Listen, there's nothing wrong with the fact that they're going to cooperate and try to basically take their resources and use them where they think they have the best shot at in terms of winning uh, or winning more delegates. But this actually, I think more than anything, plays into Donald Trump's hand that the system is rigged. It gives him another week of kind of those talking points and really hammering the opponents in terms of why are they still in the race, particularly coming off a strong New York win and what is expected to be a sweep in the Sella corridor. See, uh, your take there there, especially uh, the idea, frankly, that uh, Cruz and Kasich have now uh, set themselves up on tees, if you will, for Donald Trump to take a swing at. Yeah, I mean, like everything Donald Trump says is always that glimmer of truth, truth there. This is an indication of both the relative weakness of John Kasich and Ted Cruz, that they can't go out and win this thing themselves. Um, and they're both obviously mathematically uh, incapable of hitting that 1237 majority of delegates on that first ballot. So they need to do whatever they can to get themselves to a, to a, a contested or open convention. Certainly, they're going to take their lumps from Donald Trump for this this week in the Northeast, um, and then probably in some states going forward. But that said, it still might work, uh, look, particularly looking at Indiana, where given the those rules with the, the Cruz and Kasich folks are not stupid. They know that it is a plurality, uh, essentially plurality win state by congressional district and statewide, and they have a chance there to do uh, to deprive Donald Trump of the delegates he needs to win that nomination. And uh, earlier today, our Major Garrett compared this essentially to a Hail Mary pass. A and, <laughs> and really, you know, this isn't happening in a vacuum. Optics and momentum are in play here as well. So for Ted Cruz, for instance, in Indiana, he's essentially asking an Indiana voter now to vote for chaos rather than for a candidate. Can it work? Well, I think what you're actually, you know, you're, they're looking to do is try to get, eke out as many delegates as possible. Kasich could do, you know, a good second in some of these uh, contests tonight. And so that might kind of bolster his argument in New Mexico, in Oregon, going forward. Ted Cruz, they're just trying to stay in as long as possible and make sure that Donald Trump doesn't get to that magic 1237 number and that they can have a second or third ballot.